Hey, Blue Collar Ben here. Thanks for stopping by. So we're working on a little cooler here, and you can see that on the right-hand side of the video here, the condenser is blocked by a piece of paper. Now, it was just blocked with debris, but I put that piece of paper there to simulate the symptoms of what was going on, because it's kind of interesting to understand this, what a blocked condenser can do to these fixed regulating device units. The refrigerant in this unit is regulated by a capillary tube, which is a fixed regulating device, meaning that the amount of refrigerant that passes through it is directly correlated to the pressure that is put up against it. I have my gauges set to R134A, which is giving my real-time vapor saturation temperature readout, and you can see here that it reached uh, nearly 39 degrees, and with a vapor saturation temperature of 39 degrees, that means that that coil is going to be running uh, at that temperature at the very lowest. So 39 degrees is not cold enough to effectively keep the cooler in an optimum range of 34 to 38 degrees. So that block condenser is causing that to be higher. Now you can see as soon as we remove this paper, the pressure and temperature starts to drop almost immediately. So as the air cools off that superheated refrigerant, it is going to consequently lower the pressure inside of that condenser coil. When the pressure is lowered, it's going to force less refrigerant through the capillary tube and into the evaporator, which in turn lowers the pressure in the evaporator, which in turn lowers the temperature in the evaporator. And uh, we'll let everything stabilize here and see what it looks like after a couple minutes. Uh, on these condenser coils, just a quick tip, I guess. If you feel the ends of the loops going down the side of the condenser, the top third should be pretty warm slash hot, and then going down from there, it'll get cooler and cooler. But if you don't have, um, if like only the top loop is a little bit warm, then it's quite possible that you might have a low refrigerant charge. We ended here at 22 PSI and 23 degrees. So our cooler is cooling down quite effectively now. Here's a playlist of refrigeration videos that I've made, so if you want to keep learning about refrigeration, I'll see you over there in just a minute. Do me a favor and hit that like button if you enjoyed this, and let me know any thoughts you have down in the comments. Click on the playlist and I'll see you in the next video in just a second.